Hello YouTube, what's up? This is your boy Rick and from Tech with Rick of course and today is a video of how to install Windows 7 from a USB. As you know most of us don't really use CDs a lot or sometimes we misplace a CDs. So how do we do it? How do you install the fresh pair of Windows uh, into your computer or format your current computer for our computer? This is how you do it. So there are three things that you basically need. Number one, of course you need to go on Google, right? Get it. Get into Google, and download. Uh, like in this case, uh, I'll be downloading. I'll be installing Windows Seven. Yeah. By the way, just just to let you guys know right now, this video was shot in different parts. So I was trying to install Windows Eight in the beginning, but then it didn't work for my laptop. So you might while the while the video goes on, you might see bits and pieces of Windows Eight being installed. So just to let you guys know, I tried to install Windows Eight into my computer and the video was shot then it didn't work so I had to come back and shoot it again so that's why so it doesn't matter it works the same for both of it in this case I'll be installing Windows 7 so we go to Google and download Windows ISO image and you can download any of these days 32-bit uh, and 64-bit this depends on your computer so you can check there check that you can go to properties my computer properties my computer runs on a 64-bit operating system alright so I'm not gonna download already because I already have so once you have the Windows ISO image downloaded you need a software to install it so what I would suggest you to do is also take that mounting software I use something called Rufus so once again you go to Google type download Rufus yes click on it and then you can download this software so right so you have your Windows 7 CD over here I've got my Windows 7 ISO image and I have my Rufus <coughs> so what you do now is you put your pen drive into your computer it's loading right now so you put your pen drive into your computer and uh, you don't really need to f make sure whatever is in your pen drive you make sure you format it first because during this process of course things will get formatted so you open the Rufus that you downloaded the mounting software okay so once that's downloaded it will read your pen drive so my pen drive is selected over here leave most of the options the same I leave it as MBR partition for BIOS file system should be NT NTFS and right over here when you come to ISO image uh, uh, create bootable disk using ISO image so now you find the ISO image that you downloaded off your Windows CD so I click this is my Windows CD ISO image and you click start so it gives you a warning sign saying that all the data in your pen drive will be deleted so pretty much you should have backed up by now so click OK so now basically the uh, the the USB is getting ready to be uh, installed basically Windows starts getting installed into the USB uh, disk uh, this thing is this process is gonna take a bit of a while so let me not bore you here I'll get back I'll start back the recording once the entire when entire thing has been uh, installed all right so guys so once uh, once the inst once the downloading happens into the or oh, once the I'm so tired guys <laughs> once the USB is bootable so what happens is we've already the roof has already installed the wi uh, Windows um, CD into your USB and make sure you look at over here it says done do not click start again guys because if you click start again the entire procedure is gonna happen again which doesn't make any sense so just to reconfirm you go into your USB and you'll see here the setup file is all over here and everything is done so congrats step one is done so you have all and so now you already have the USB which you which with uh, the Windows 7 file inside it now what you need is to go into step 2 and uh, reconfigure the BIOS system so that it reads from the USB first so let's go check that out your pen, pen drive is ready what you need to do is you gotta take it to your computer or your laptop where you're planning to install the Windows right so be first of all what you need to do is you put your pen drive in inside your in the computer connect it and when, when you start it now before the computer start I need to tell you you need to enter the BIOS right um, it's basically 
before the computer startup, the startup screen goes for a few seconds where you need to click proper buttons. In my case, it's F11 and F12, and most of the computers do have. But you need to figure out what your BIOS is. So I put my pen drive in, and I start my computer, and I click F11 and F12 to enter into my BIOS. You can see, it gets into the BIOS. And then I need to get into the setup. And I need to find the startup options. I get into my boot. And this is what you, in, in, in my case, I found it easily, but for every computer it's different. What you need to find out is your boot options. You need to change your USB to first priority. As you can see, my USB is first. Once that is done, you make sure you save and exit. In my case, it's F10. So once you do this, your computer restarts by itself and now it will start reading from your pen drive. So I press F10, start and exit, and it will start and it will restart. So now you restart your computer from the options. Now it's restarting. As you can see, Windows has started and it will take us to the setup procedure. And by the way, that's me. How are you guys doing? So after that, you basically follow it. Now over here, I choose my language, country, United States. I'm gonna stick to US keyboard. US keyboard, click next. And you click install now. After which the setup basically gets started. Then I'm, I'm going to select with Windows 8. I'm not going to go with Pro. Accept the license. Next. So the, he, this is an important feature for people who already have Windows into the, in the head or have Windows in their computer. They should go with install. It basically what it does is it keeps the most important files and it reinstalls the video. So basically in a way it upgrades. But in my case, my computer does not have, I just bought a new hard disk so it has no windows at all so I go into custom and I delete everything that's over here hold on I delete everything that's over here And now I have complete unallocated space over here. Now, I begin to install my Windows over here. As you can see now, the Windows files are copying. And uh, it's going to take a while, so I don't want to keep you guys here for that long. I'll get to you once the Windows has been installed. Well, so here we are after uh, Windows 7 gets installed. You'll be like, wait a minute. We were installing Windows 8. How did we come up to Windows 7? Well, you're right. Actually, I was trying to inst I tried and installed Windows 8 into it, but this computer does not support Windows 8. I don't know, maybe it's a bit too old, but once I installed it, the Wi-Fi was not working, there was no sound. I tried to look up the drivers on the internet, couldn't find it. So I had to unload and once again do the entire procedure again and install Windows 7. Yes, although I didn't do anything, I didn't show you Windows 7 from the beginning, there's nothing to worry because all, all until now the procedure was all exactly the same. You, instead of, except, you know, instead of downloading a Windows 8 ISO image, you will be downloading a Windows 7 ISO image and the remaining is the same. You go through the boot procedure and everything else is the same. So once, the only difference is when in Windows 8 usually drivers are installed, so the drivers usually come. 
So once the Windows 8 is installed and that's it, you don't need to do much more. Well, Windows 7 does not have that feature. So in Windows 7, you need something called drivers for the entire computer to run. That is for your computer, computer to play music, for audio, for your computer to have a proper video, for your computer to even use internet, you need to have drivers. So that's what we'll be going to. Let me show you how to install the how, how to find the drivers and how to install the drivers. All right, so then you go to Google and what you gotta type is Windows 7 drivers for whatever the laptop model that you're using. In my case, it's Dell N5050. The reason being because drivers are very important drivers is what help, actually helps you uh, helps your hardware to work so in, in my case basically my internet is not going to work so i'm going to be installing drivers so you can find the drivers. so as you can see windows 64 bit is the operating system of my computer and i would download the audio driver right as that will be important for my for me to listen to sounds i'm going to be in installing or one easy way to do it is you can install one driver which is the wireless driver and then that way you can uh, you can activate internet on your computer and you can take it from there you can start downloading whatever you want so that's basically it so you gotta know whatever drivers that is installed and needed for your computer install it and that's about it I guess uh, I'll see you guys talk to you guys soon